Hello there. Thanks a lot for coming by PosterCentral.com's video blog today. I'm Pete Howard. And this, of course, is Harry James. Wow, big band leader, one of the true giants of the big band swing era. And not just a trumpet player, but really a trumpet virtuoso. He was pretty much a model for young trumpetists of the era. In fact, notice how the poster even points that out. Above the white box with his name, it does say America's number one trumpeter. <laughs> so, I don't know if Louis or anybody else wanted to challenge him, but that's uh, what all his posters said. Now, Harry's first phase was from 1939 to 1946, obviously right through the heart of World War II. Then he took some time off and sort of regrouped his band and so forth and formed up again in the late 40s and went straight through into his death in the 1980s. And I've got a poster from each phase to show you today. This beauty is from 1945 with a very compelling, as you can see, shadow effect and its orange coloring just really catchy to the eye, really nice. I just love that shadow though, it's almost, uh, you know, I can't really remember many others like that. In fact, this basic template was so popular, it pretty much defines Harry James concert posters through World War II. There may have been a few other independents, but this one keeps turning up during that six or seven year, six year period, I guess it would be. But, however, the color, which is orange here, did change periodically, and let's go ahead and look at a couple of other examples, photos of this poster with different colors. So here we've got, as you can see left to right, we've got 1940 as an orange example, 1941 in the middle is blue, and 1941 on the white is red. Notice just like nothing else changed, everything is absolutely identical other than the color, you know, the musical notes and um, every little word, the MCA logo, they're all just exactly the same. Although two of these were autographed, it appears, by the whole band and stuff, so that's a bit distracting, but still nice to have as a collector, absolutely. And then notice the venue information up top. It goes from red to black to black. And then this one is in navy blue, as you can see. Interesting for still a third variety. Also kind of interesting that on the back, you have the, uh, not bleed through, but this is the, you know, the wet ink from the poster just below it when they were put in a stack off the printing press coming up on the back of the poster as well. So here you have Canopy Lake Park in Salem, New Hampshire. And as you can see, it's very simple venue information, Thursday, July 19th. And as I said, 1945, a couple of months after the end of the war. Harry was just releasing at this time, by the way, a top ten hit, If I Loved You, from the musical Carousel. And 45 was a good year for him because that uh, top ten hit was sandwiched between two number ones for him. I'm beginning to see the light from January, and it's been a long, long time from October. And this window card at the bottom has absolutely no printer's credit or union bug. Okay, so let's go into his phase two. That's 45. Let's jump to 53 early in his second phase. And look at this, an entirely different look. Interesting. Uh, South River, New Jersey here with really big red letter venue information up top. But the main thing that catches your eye about this one is the huge credit for another star, essentially. Obviously, just ask him. <laughs> Buddy Rich on drums and really big lettering down there at the bottom, much larger than almost any other support musician or band member you will see on one of these posters. So you've got this red, white, and blue look, you know, and uh, Harry looking rather distinguished, if I can get my fingers off him, in that bow tie there. Interesting look on him. And it's kind of funny the way his whole first name is in lowercase letters and his last name is entirely in uppercase. Really simple venue information, Sunday, June 7th, Liberty Ballroom, South River, New Jersey. Now even this in the 50s was a good year for Harry James, 53, because his last two charting singles ever came this very year, and they both got into the top 20, so that's pretty neat. Um, you've got You'll Never Know in January, the 53, sung by Rosemary Clooney, and Ruby, the month after this, in July of 1953. And once again, no union bug or printer listed at the bottom. So, big band leader Harry James, a couple of really fun ones from 45 and 53. I'll tell you, I'd love to find this one from 1939, this first example I showed you, because if it's from the second half of 1939, not mentioned on the poster, but his lead singer, or a vocalist certainly in his stage act, was a young Frank Sinatra. Harry James, <laughs> one of the kings of the swing era. Thanks a lot for dropping by, have a good day, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.